Alright, so this video is a quick overview of how to update your Ethernet controller or your Pro Wi Fi controller with the set of cables. Uh, this is the standard way of updating for the Ethernet, and if it is for the Wi Fi, if you cannot receive a Wi Fi signal. So, first, uh, you want to take the controller board outside of the white plastic box. Uh, you need to do this to get to the back side of the of the controller there. You want to unplug it while you're doing this to make sure you do not shock yourself. Once you get to the back side of the controller, you want to connect the ribbon cables to the bottom corner with the red ribbon facing the outer outboard lower part of the connection. Once that's connected, you want to plug the controller back in because it must have power to properly download the software. Or after you do that, you want to go over to your computer and you need to download a couple of tools off of our Heliodyne website. We're going to go to www.heliodyne.com. Off our main website, you want to go to Products and Systems. Scroll over to Control Units, Delta 2 Pro Downloads. So there's two things that you'll need. The first is the actual firmware version. Our current one is version 4.2. We're going to today be using a Delta T Pro Wi-Fi. Uh, you want to choose whichever model you have. You click on this link, it will download a zip file to your computer. If you unzip it, it will be a bin file.bin. Go ahead and save this file somewhere close such as on your desktop. There we go. The next thing we need to download off the website is the actual program that will be used to push this software onto the controller. It's the very last link called the Delta T Pro and ProLite Field Upgrade Utility. This will only work on PCs or Apple computers that have a virtual machine or other software that will run Windows-based programs. So I just clicked on it, it uh, downloaded a exe file, and I'm going to go ahead and load it. It's going to set up a wizard, and it's just saved it to our, uh, our start menu there. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Alright, so we're done with the internet. Go ahead to our start menu. We should see a new program that just popped up. Delta T Pro Upgrade Utility. Go ahead and open it up. It looks like this. So right now we don't have anything connected and so we don't have any ports underneath. But we do have a firmware image so let's go ahead and load that bin file. I save this under my desktop. This is the file that we downloaded off the website before. So now we have the correct firmware file in our image. We have Rabbit 4000 Plus, that's the faster processor, so we'll stick with that. I'm going to go ahead and insert the USB cable into this computer now. Since this is the first time I'm running it, it's checking my drivers to make sure it's compatible. So right now it's automatically installing the drivers that we need to run this program.
All right, the computer has the correct drivers installed. You can see now we have a port ability to choose. Also, it'll in parentheses, this is a USB port, so we're gonna go ahead and choose that. And then we're gonna hit start. So right now we are installing the new firmware onto the controller. Once the progress bar has reached 100%, we will be done. All right, and there you go. Go ahead, close out of this program. Remove the wires from the, your computer and the controller. Again, you want to make sure you do not touch the controller while it's plugged in, so go ahead, unplug it from the wall. Reset it up and uh, connect as usual.